right, Shalom, Shalom. See we rolling. So I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double minus to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who teach me well in the scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Now I'm going to go straight in, man. You know, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of controversy going around, you know, so circling around this word, man. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah is making noise in the earth, man. No, by way of his prophets, not these celebrities. Whatever Kanye, whatever Lamar, Scott Lamar said recently or in the past, there were men who have been speaking these things on the streets, on the highways and the byways, years before they even came out and acknowledged it. A lot of these celebrities, man, they, you know, they've been knowing where Israelites, man. You know, but so that they can please Daddy E. They don't come out and say certain things. You know, money is more important to them than the truth is, man. You know, so, um, but the fact of the matter is, nothing that Kanye or Kyrie Irving ha has said recently, none of it is wrong. We are the real Jews, man. You so-called Negroes are from the tribe of Judah. And then going on down, you have uh, the tribe of Levi, which is the so-called Haitians. You have the tribe of Benjamin, which would be the so-called West Indians. You know, you know, and uh, I will go down the list, man, but you know, brothers get it. You know, the tribe of uh, the tribe of uh, Simeon, so called Dominicans, the tribe of uh, the tribe of Ephraim, so called Puerto Ricans. You know, uh, you know, hey, going, you know, going on down the list, man, you so called Hispanics are, are, are Israelites as well. You know, and that's how you know that we got counterfeits over there in the land because the prophet, according to prophecies, the Lord is going to save all Israel, you know, not just one tribe, you know, not just uh, uh, specifically the tribe of Judah is going to be saved, man. Yeah, man, when the word go out, man, these demons get riled up, man. These, the spirits that's on these people, you know, um, I did a lesson, a quick lesson. On uh, what I saw, uh, just just I, I believe it happened yesterday with Elder Manata Zakba from uh, GMS North Carolina camp. You know the elder held his ground, man, and he invoked the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and, and basically, you know, he didn't uh, he didn't make a first move, man. He didn't make a first move. Now if that guy would have hit him, he would have been in the right, you know, to defend himself. But you know that guy was clearly an agent provocateur. He was clearly sent up to the camp to uh, cause dissension, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to stir up strife, hey, amen, and the spirit ultimately handled that situation for the, for the Zaquan, you know, he didn't have to get uh, uh, physical, or uh, carnal rather, you know, but this is though to show you, man, brothers can't be ignorant of Satan's devices, man, you know, this truth is irritating Esau, man, it's pissing him off, we in this man's kingdom telling him his kingdom is going to go down, telling him he's going to go into slavery for putting us in slavery. You know, telling him that, hey, man, uh, he's finna fall from power. Yeah, man, so this this goddamn devil is getting angry about this truth, man. You know? Let's see. Uh... This is uh, Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. So according to Revelation 2 and 9, we got counterfeit Jews and we got the real Jews. According to Revelation 2 and 9, the real Jews are in poverty. Who do you people look down upon in your, in your daily walk through your city? Wherever you may be, whether that be Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, Memphis, wherever. You Edomites, y'all looking down on the children of Judah, man. Y'all put y'all boot heavily, heavily. On the children of Judah. You know what I'm saying? You know? Hey, man. Um, 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 we are the poor. You know? We are poor. The real Jews are poor. We live in what Esau calls ghettos or projects. You know? So the real Jews are in poverty according to Revelations 2 and 9. Name me a Jewish person who's poor. Who's uh, 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 very, very poor. On the brink of being homeless poor. You know? You can't, man. Most of them own businesses. As, as a matter of fact, the way that they live is in direct opposition to the curses that are supposed to be on the Israelites as a sign. 
hey man, we are in poverty as a sign. We can't own our own businesses in our own neighborhoods and they prosper as a sign. You know, the other nations come in our neighborhoods and set up prosperous businesses, but we can't get anything going because of the curses. The curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, which shows you that whoever those curses are on, that's a sign upon them that they are the, that they are the true Israelites, man. Ain't none of these so-called Jewish people going through nothing. They don't uh, suffer any financial straits. They own damn near everything, and they got their hand in everything from the judicial system to the music industry to the movie industry. So they clearly aren't any, nothing about them is poor. Nothing about the life that they live is poor, man. You know? You know, uh, the real Jews have woolly hair, not straight, not straight hair that you can uh, 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 curl and kink up. You know, uh, 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 the, the, the real Jews have afros, man. You know, when the scriptures uh, describe Yahweh Shah, whom the world ignorantly knows as Jesus Christ, it describes his hair as uh, 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 as wool. Matter of fact, that's, that's, that's Revelation like 1 and 13. I'm going to do right now. It's not even wasting the time. Man. This is uh, Revelation 1 and 13. This is a description of the man whom you ignorantly know as Jesus Christ. It said, I'm going to start from verse 12. Revelation 1 and 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as the flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. So the, the, the way that the scriptures uh, describe the one whom you ignorantly know as Jesus Christ, which is named in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, they, they described him as having hair as white like wool. Now when a so-called black man gets old and up there in age, our hair uh, gets gray. And from a distance, you will think that it's, it's, it's white, you know? The scriptures refer to his skin as, as uh, 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 like it's likened up to burned grass. You know, who has that that um, that dark brown skin? So-called Negroes, you know. You know, so, hey, man, um, it's clear if the spirit is dealing with you to see who the true children of Israel are, to see who, hey, man, uh, so-called African-Americans are from the tribe of Judah. You know, so. When the scriptures say that it, is, that it is evident that our Lord sprung from Judah, hey man, um, your average Negro looks like the Most High and His Son. We are are, are are literally the Lord's earthly children, you know, which which all of the tribes are, but Judah just has certain attributes that are that are very similar to the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai, you know. Hey man, it's been going down. The Lord been uh ripping this place the hell up, man. No, I'm at the uh, Indiana Michigan Power Building, and as you can see, all the way over there, that's mulch, you know, and it's a lot more of it. You know, it's leaves all over the place, it's trees uh, down. A lot of people were without power because of uh, the storms yesterday, because I believe you had like eight tornadoes come through Texas. Hell, we all the way up here, man, and that fucking wind. That was a powerful wind that came here yesterday, man. You know? Hey, man, and if, if, if you looking at things spiritually, you know, um, there are, you know, if, 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 if natural disasters were natural, they would have um, a break in occurrences. It ain't been no break in the so-called natural disasters, man. You know? So if you can see what's going on with a spiritual eye, you will be able to see that the Heavenly Father is visiting the world which he made. You know, hey, pretty soon, man, uh, the rivers out here will be dried up, just like the Mississippi River. Pretty soon, the grocery store shelves are going to be bare, you know? Pretty soon, the police ain't going to be able to uh, 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 control all the hell that's going to break loose. And then you're going to have martial law implemented. 
all of these things that you see in these end time movies, they're going to happen in your lifetime, man. Whether you want it to or not, or whether you believe it's going to happen or not. It don't matter if you don't believe, you know. Hey, man, the Heavenly Father is stirring up jealousy, man. You know. You know, so us as the men of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, for teaching the truth, pretty soon, man, it's going to be a lot of hate coming our way. But you know it is what it is. We know what we signed up for. But the truth is going to make these people continuously angry. Hey, and Esau going to show you niggas his horns, man. The so-called white man is the same. He, he the same white man from the 30s, the 1800s, the 1600s. Hey, and the Heavenly Father going to show Jake that, man. You know? This man hates the children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Well, it don't matter what tribe you from. Because it's the spirit in him that he gets from his forefather. That forefather, that spirit that, that, that Esau, that spirit of hatred that Esau held against Jacob, it continued with his children. And they show that in how they treat you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on a daily basis, man. They spit at you. They mock you. They look down upon you. You know? Which, hey, man, uh, Esau ain't the one to talk. Because when the scriptures talk about Eve, it tells you that he is the basest of men. So right now, we just living out our punishment, man. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is punishing us by putting us under this goddamn devil. But, you know, he's, hey, 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 Esau is getting angry, man, because he realizing that they, that the scriptures aren't, aren't about them. They realizing that, hey, man, um, they time is running short. You know? You got to think about it, bro. Like, we telling these people they getting ready to go into slavery under us. You think they ever thought that was going to happen? You think they want to hear that, man? No, nah, man, whether it's true or not. You know, we going to get a lot. Hey, man, brothers is, is going to lose their jobs. You know, uh, brothers is going to lose family. You know, brothers is going to lose everything, man, just for this truth. Right now, we kind of in the beginning stages of that. But I guarantee you with everything happening, you know, eventually Esau is going to come out and say, you know what, we got new laws against anti-Semitism. Uh, uh, you can't hire somebody that's an anti-Semitic. Or you can't, uh, and pretty soon, man, it's going to be, uh, you can't rent to somebody that's an anti-Semitic. Shit's going to get real, man. You know? Let me see. Uh, pull out my scriptures. Yeah, man, because... Hey, Esau, you got you to gotta pay for that hatred that you had and that you still have. You know, the people that you work with, they tolerate you. The Edomites you work with tolerate you. The Edomites that are around you on a daily basis, they tolerate you. They still go home and talk about you. They still hold a very high hatred for you in their heart, man. Because they're not the chosen people. That's where that hatred stems from. You know, our forefather Jacob supplanted Esau out of his birthright, out of his blessing. So that means his children don't get what Esau was supposed to have. So they got the same hatred that their forefather had, man. And they show that in how they, um, you know, pretty much, man, Jake is still under capti in captivity under these devils, man. You know, um, they keep us out of certain programs. Hell, the police, they keep a heavy boot on Jake back, you know. They uh, uh, demonize us in their media. You know, all these different forms of hatred, whether it be physical, whether it be televised hatred, whether it be systematic hatred. Esau has hatred towards you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because we are the children of Israel, man. We're, we're, we're chosen and they're not chosen. That's where they hatred come from. You know, I would hate me too. If I if, if I look up and you got this, this beautiful brown skin tone and I got this red-ass skin tone, hell, you Edomites can't even go out in the sun for too long without getting burned, man. So that goes to show you that the Heavenly Father hates your ass, you know. It's a lot of reasons why they have hatred against us. But I'm going to go ahead and um, keep a scripture. And I'm going to get uh, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. Because we living in 2022. And they want you to forget about things that happened 100 years ago, 200 years ago. No, nah, it don't work like that. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, requires that which is past. You know? So you can say, well, my grandfather put you into slavery, but I didn't. Well, you got to pay for the sins of your grandfather, man. You know? 
you gonna be you hey, y'all gonna be held accountable for uh the things that your forefathers and foremothers did. Because it wasn't just the Edomite man, it was the Edomite woman as well, man. You know? Hey, you saw your your women, your woman gonna get judged with you. You know how many uh Edomite women that got Jake me and killed by lying and saying that they slept with them or that they raped them, you know? <laughs> hey man, it go both ways, man. This is Ezekiel 35, and from, I'm gonna start from the top. Wherever the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And that's what we doing, man. We prophesy, we prophesying against Esau's kingdom. You know? It's a lot of things that are just, you know, the Lord keep revealing certain truths. You know what I'm saying? The truth about Esau uh, being a fucking homosexual and buck breaking slaves. That's out there. The truth about, you know, um, hey, the tortures that we went through in slavery. We got hung on trees. We got burned to fucking death while y'all sit with y'all kids and ate and watched it like it was a goddamn show. You got to pay for that, man. And you're not going to, hey, the Heavenly Father is not going to let you get away with it. You know, you at least are going to be the first fruits of slavery. So, yeah, you're going to you're going to escape the missiles only for your ass to be locked up and put in the chains, man. You know, this is uh, Ezekiel 35 and verse 3. And say unto it, thus saith Yahweh power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Hey, so Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, the one who you ignorantly know is God, he's against you Edomites, man. He's against this kingdom as a whole, and he's going to make it most desolate. You know? So, your buildings won't last. Hey, and I'm not going to get this place no another 10 years. This place ain't got another 10 years. And the way that the earth is going, the way that things are going, hey, if your house shot don't, don't, don't speed up the time, the Lord don't shorten the days for the elect's sake, there's not going to be any flesh left to save. This man has destroyed the earth, he's destroyed the animals, and he's destroying the people. So he has to, hey, Esau has to be removed out of power, man. Or it ain't going to be nothing but death to look forward to. You know? We never had extinct creatures or animals until Esau came into power. We never had endangered species until the so-called white man came into power with his bullshit, man. You destroy trees. You destroy the animals. You destroy the water. You destroy the air, man. You know? So you're unprofitable as a ruler in this earth. And, and the Lord's getting ready to take Esau down. And set Yahweh Shai up, man. You know, he's that profitable one who's going to be set up in rulership very, very soon. Because we can't keep living like this under this goddamn devil. Hell, you can't go outside and get no fresh air. It ain't no such thing as that. When you step outside, you breathe in the barium oxide and whatever else fucking chemical that this man then decided he going to spray into the clouds in uh, that day, man. You know? So we living under, hey, we're living under the rulership of fucking madmen, of, 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 of mad scientists, you know? That's what Esau's comparable to. It says, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, perpetual meaning continuous, you know? When Esau passed away, his children continued on in his hatred. Uh, uh, against Jacob's children. It said it has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity in the time that their iniquity had an end. Hey, Charleston White, you a goddamn lie, man. You know, these cops kill Negroes all the time. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't, it ain't you, you should have no reason to stick up for your enemy, man. How many cops have killed an uh, 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 innocent black man or whether he was innocent or not? You didn't let the law take care of it. You took it into your own man's to, your own hands to end a man's life. You know? Hey, man. Um, Esau got to pay for that, man. You know? You Edomites got to pay for that. Like the scriptures say, I believe that's Zechariah 11 and 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves unaccountable. You know? Hey, man, Esau can kill a nigga, and, and he know, man, once he get in that courthouse, he going to get a million-dollar bond paid for it. 
he going to get some shit swept under the rug, you know? So, man, we living in, this is our hell right now. If you a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, this is your hell. We living in captivity. So every time you celebrate an Independence Day or Juneteenth Day, you make an ass out of yourself. You still got to go to work for this fucking devil, man. You still got to live here. You can't up and just leave. Hey, if all of us did get together and decide to up and leave America, you think they'll let that shit happen? No, nah, man. They're going to call the army and whoever else to and, 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 and basically let us know we still belong to them. That's why Yahweh Shah got to come back and deliver us, man, along with the holy angels. You know? Hey, this is the Heavenly Father's movie, and we just, uh, we're just, the, the men of the Lord are just his amb ambassadors, man. But you know, your elites, they show you what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen. They know what's to come. That's why they shutting this place down. You know, it was in, uh, it was in the Malachite that came out years ago. His name was Rabbi A. Fekelstein or something to that, to that, uh, that, to that notion. He came out and basically said that they've been shutting shop on America down, man, because they done made enough money off this place. And it's, 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 it's on a steep down climb. Other countries are dumping the dollar. So at this point in time, there's no reason for you Americans, you Edomites specifically, to be prideful about your kingdom. Your kingdom is getting brought down, man. The other nations know it. We know it and you know it, man. You know? Hey, the Heavenly Father is bringing an end to this place because of the wickedness. You know? You promoting homosexuality to children. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, hey, hey. If it ain't death or or, or, or wickedness or violence, you don't want to uh, hire an Israelite in any form to present any form of entertainment that doesn't include those things. You know, here it is, man. Kanye come out and say the truth, and he get a uh, 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 bastardized for it, man. He get ostracized for it. You know, but if I, if I come out right now and make a song, I'm gonna kill this nigga. I'm gonna fuck his wife. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm going to catch him walking and shoot him. These record labels will literally pay millions for that type of filth to be pushed out there on the world, man. But but Kanye is the problem. Kyrie Irving is the problem, man. That's bullshit. These goddamn devils are the problem, man. You know, you Edomites, you children of Satan, because that's what you are. You got the children of the Most High, you got the children of Satan, man. And it's, being a, it's a line being drawn between them. If you can see that, man, hey got a spiritual eye on it. but you know most people man um they just gonna go with the media and what the media tells them because most people are zombified you know and that, and that just goes to show you man brothers get their videos uh taken down uh for speaking on certain urge you know the fda is getting ready to ban cmos cmos has a a a, a lot of a lot of uh good uh, qualities to it, man. You know, it can heal a lot of disease in the human body. But Esau wants to get rid of it. Why? Because these pharmaceutical companies are losing money. That that knowledge of how the herbs and how things that grow from the earth can actually heal you is affecting their bank, man. It's affecting Esau's bankroll. So now he want to get rid of CMOS. You know, Kanye sold out and Kyrie Irving sold out. You know, we know that. But they ain't wrong for what they said, because what they said was the truth. You know? They getting punished for, for speaking the truth, man. But I'm going to keep reading, you know, Salakia for that rant. But um, it was definitely spiritual. This is Ezekiel 35. And, um, well, actually, I'm, I'm done now. I'm done now. So I'm going to get another precept. Let's see. Uh... Hey, the Heavenly Father is a man of war. And at this current time, he's stirring up war. He's stirring up these other nations to come against Babylon the Great, man, a.k.a. America. You know, a nuclear war is prophesied in the scriptures, and it's very, we're, we're very, very close to that, man. Hey, man, cut on your news, and that's all you hear them talking about is a nuclear war, the possibility of nuclear war. So we living in those times, you know? It's a lot of things that have already happened. It's too far to go. Man. A lot of things have already happened, man. You know, it ain't no coming back from certain things. 
And there's certain things and certain moves that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has made in the earth that's going to prevent, you know, uh, 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 any rec reconciliation between these uh, uh, these uh, 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 these nations and the U.S., man. Mainly China, Russia, Iran. You know, Turkey's in the Turkey's kind of in the middle of um, either going siding with with the U.S. and staying an ally, or going with Russia. Turkey's gonna go with Russia, man, according to prophecy, and they're gonna turn on the U.S. This is Isaiah nine and five. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this next world war that's coming is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. You know, everything that you see around you, man, in, ev in every 50 states, it's going to be turned into dust. It's going to be turned into nothing. You know? You know, Jake out here, man, uh, our people are being judged in the sight of these other nations. You got rappers being killed every other goddamn week. Not to mention the regular takes that don't get televised. A hey, judgment is going out on, 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 on you Israelites, man. You know? And rightfully so, man. You got Jake out here that just think they can do whatever the hell they want. And they feel like, well, you know, I ain't losing no money. The Lord must be okay with what I'm doing. Nah, man. A lot of you uh, uh, Jakes, man, especially two-thirds, you gonna be saved for the specific judgment of fucking catching a nuke, man. The Lord might save you. The Lord might save you all the way up into the end and preserve you for death. So don't think that you're getting away with anything, man. But, um, you know, we do still have to still keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities. That means no eating pork, no meat eating shrimp, crab, lobster, anything in the ocean or in any body of water that swims that does not have both scales and fins you Israelites shouldn't be eating it, man. It's against the law. Sleeping with another man's woman. That's against the law, man. That's adultery. You know? Hey, Jake, you still being judged for these things, whether you know it or not. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jake wonder why they got all these health problems. You know, the Heavenly Father set the law, statutes, and commandments up to keep us from going through uh, uh, heart attacks and, 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 and clogged arteries. Because when you eat that bullshit, man, that's what that's what happens. It clogs your arteries up. You know? It um you know, hey, hey, eating pork can put it can 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 bring your body a host of parasites, man. A bunch of different parasites. Parasites will embrace and they hey, they'll put they'll embed themselves in your brain, in your, in your muscles. That's why hey, pork contains a lot of different parasites, man, and it's one of the only meats. That you can't cook parasites out of that pork, man. It don't matter if you burn it to a crisp. There's still plenty of parasites in it. A pig is one is, is the most unclean animal, man. One of the most unclean animals. They live and eat and sleep in, uh, in trash and poop and other things, man. You know? There's nothing that a pig will not eat. Literally. You know what I'm saying? So when you eat a pig, man. You eating whatever it's eating. You know? That's one of the main things that Jake got a problem with, man. Is letting go of that pork. Let's see. Uh, this is Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with, his, with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So when you see these uh, these uh, news reports on uh, UFOs coming and uh, 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 dealing with Esau's army, you know, having encounters with the Air Force, hey man, uh, there are the, the, the holy angels flying those vehicles, man, and those vehicles are the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And when, and when the Heavenly Father's son, Yahweh Shah, comes back, he's going to come back with a host of chariots, man. You know, to make war with Esau and his armies. You know, but like I said, the nuclear missiles are going to bring fire. And the chariots, Yahweh is going to come back with the chariots and they're going to bring fire. 
like you see in the movies, man. You see these, you see a big father ship appear and a, little, and a bunch of other ships with it. You know, they go about destroying, man. Well, that's what the chariots are going to do when they come back with Yahweh Shai, man. This is Isaiah 66 and 15. I'm a, uh, well, actually, I want to get verse 16. I'm reading on. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouth shall be consumed together, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So all you pork eaters, man, all you China house lovers, you like eating that bread, you like eating them, they eating that pork, hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh got a special judgment for you, man. Death is planned for you if you don't repent. No, the heavenly father didn't send his son to change his law or anything that the prophet said, man. He sent his son to fulfill it. You know, we still have to keep the law, statutes, the commandments to the best of our ability. It's 613 laws. We're in a body that's in direct opposition to righteousness. We're in a kingdom that's in direct opposition to righteousness. We're not going to be able to keep all of them. But you still got to do your best, man. Because the Lord ain't going to accept nothing less from you. You know? This is uh, Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. So the Heavenly Father, Son, the one you ignorantly know is Jesus Christ, he didn't come to do away with the law. He said that in his own words. It's in red, man. Matthew 5 and 17. You know? So, man, hey, these churches, man, they off. What the Lord is, 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 is bringing a lot of Israelites out of them churches. You know, brothers can't be surprised, man, if um we, we see an influx of brothers and sisters coming from the church, man. You know? Learning and getting in and getting getting with brothers and learning the videos or coming and supping with brothers at camp. A lot of those, a lot of that's gonna happen because things are gonna get increasingly worse. If you think things things are bad right now, man, it's gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse. To the point where, you know, hey, the scriptures has has has, has coined it a time like never before. Jacob's trouble, man. Jeremiah 30 and 7. You know, so it's getting ready to go down. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is getting ready to uh, bring us to a climax in his movie, man. But yeah, man, hey, Yahweh Shai didn't come to change anything that Yahweh, Bosh, that Yahweh has set up before he came. He came to fulfill it. You know? Hey, hey, Yahweh Shai told you, man, I came to do the will of him that sent me, man. Hey, and the scriptures tell you that the Lord changes not. So whatever he made official according to the law, as far as the law, statutes, and commandments, we still got to keep that. It keeps us from uh, being like everybody else. That the, the law, statutes, and the commandments is what separates us from being regular fucking heathens, man. But Jake loathes the law because you love you niggas love being heathens. You love living in this society that does nothing but oppress you and your people. You know. Matter of fact, I'm gonna see if I can pull that. Uh... I want to say that's Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So let's see if I can find it. Hey, man, when you at camp, man, things get intense, man. The spirit's going to get intense on you, man. You know? But you got to stick to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, ain't nothing wrong with having a spiritual rant, long as you keeping it spiritual. But we know we just got to focus on letting the scriptures speak for us, man. We all here to speak. Or was he how about some y'all shot? You know, sometimes brothers get emotional about certain topics and certain things. Something might happen at the camp. But, you know, we got to ultimately, uh, you know, we got to keep it manly. You know, and being emotional, man, that's not a trait of a man. But, you know, hey, we in these bodies, man. You know, we sometimes you get overcome, you know. But as long as you don't um. Uh, Get carnal and you know, hey, get out of bounds, you good, man. But you know, hey, hey, uh, this work is not of us, man. We couldn't even come out here and speak these scriptures 
accordingly if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh didn't put the spirit on us to do so. You know, it is the spirit that quickened if the flesh profit if nothing. We just got to remember, you know, speaking for myself first and foremost, when we come out here, we out here to teach the word, push prophecy, wake up the elect, and get the hell on, man. You know, hey, nothing is in our power right now. The Lord hasn't given us power right now, but eventually he will. Hey, because things are going to happen to us because we teaching this word. Like I said, we're going to lose our jobs. We're going to lose family members. Your woman might leave you. Your kids might turn on you. But you got to keep it um, keep it manly. You got to gird up your loins like a man. Anytime something happens to you, man, we got to remember that scripture, man. You know, the servant is not greater than his master. Whatever Yahweh Shah went through, we're going to go through it. And hey, that's cool because Yahweh Shah ain't going to put us through nothing that he ain't giving us the strength to get through, man. I can tell you right now, man, I don't fear death. I don't fear imprisonment. I don't fear anything, you know, because nothing can be worse than having to continue on uh, 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 in captivity. We have to go through those things for this to be brought to an end. So when we going through those things, we got to remember, man, hey, it's almost over, man. This is what we got to go through to get to the kingdom of heaven. And that's what we thirst for. That's what we desire. Brothers have nice things. Brothers run across uh, nice looking women. Brothers have cars and this and that. But none of that shit means anything at the end of the day when you still in captivity. How can you, you know, it's like a nigga being in fucking prison with the new iPhone. <laughs> you got the new iPhone, but you still in prison. You know, it's like having a fucking Rolex and being in a, in a cell. You know what I'm saying? It don't, you know, it's cool. It look all right, but shit, man, I'm still locked up. I can't go, I can't really, you know, right now, man, the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we're choosing to suffer with each other, to suffer with our people, rather than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Because when some of us in this truth, we're young, you know, we we young, uh, we young men. We could get out there, man, and 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 make something happen, or go out there and chase women. Or go out there and party and bullshit, but that ain't what the Lord set us here to do, man. You know, we sat here to, to prophesy, get our daily bread, get what we need, and they just uh continue in the faith until the end. We'll have fun in the kingdom, brothers. Hey, we can't even imagine the fun we can't have. You know, it's not it hasn't entered into the heart of man what Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai has prepared for them that love him, man. And the Lord is not unrighteous to forget our labor and love. If we keep on, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, has got, you know, um, hey, he, he got some gifts for us that we can't, even, we can't even imagine, man. You know, right now, man, brothers, we not running around here having our way with these women. These women look down upon us because we're not like these men in the world. You know, Jacob, uh, 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 to please a woman, Jacob go get a haircut every damn day if they could, you know. You know, they pull out these, uh, that, see, King Von said in a recent interview, men buy jewelry for women, you know? We do a lot of things simply to impress women because if, if, if it wasn't a, to impress a woman, why go get a nice suit? Why go get a shape up or why shave, <laughs> you know? So a lot of things that men do, man, as far as trying to make themselves look good, as far as, you know, living a certain way, a lot of men, they out here servants to women. But see, we not, we not, that spirit ain't on us, man. You know, that spirit ain't on us, man. So we not going, to hey, hey, get, go, go out there and get you a woman from the world. The first thing the bitch going to tell you to do is cut your beard off. Like, so get a shape up. Why don't you, you know, you look good, you smell good, you take care of yourself. But damn, why don't, you know, why don't you go get a shape up? Because it's against the laws, man. And back to what I was saying earlier. The law, statutes, and commandments is the only thing that separates the Israelite from being a heathen. So, no, you cannot eat pork, man. No, you can't eat shrimp, crab, lobster. It's not a delicacy. They used to feed prisoners lobster. Look it up, you know. And that's and see, that's that's Esau's push. Esau pushing that vibration on the world. When you take things out of the ocean that keep the ocean clean, that's why that's how you get fucked up, dirty water, man. You know. Hey, shrimp, lobsters, all of them are bottom feeders. They're scavengers. Catfish, it's a scavenger. And Jake love to eat catfish, man. Why you think that catfish stinks so goddamn bad when you warm it up? 
It's because it is a bottom feeder. It was never meant for you to cook it and eat it, man. You know, but Jake loved them abominations that was given to them during the time of slavery. I've never eaten a chitlin in my life, and I will never eat one. You know, it's pig intestines. You know what I'm saying? Which goes to show you why we got to put that type of hell on Esau's ass. Because that's what you so-called white people did, man. You changed our diet up to where, hey, hey, Jake got eating that bullshit from Esau. A lot of us, man, we were, um, a lot of Jake, whether they knew they were Israelites or not, it was certain things that we still wasn't doing, like eating pork, uh, 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 living a certain way, you know? That's why when some of us were slaves, a lot of us, um, I think Jake was Jake. There was a there was a time period where Jake was heavily into is, Islam. You know, uh, we 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 were the Moors, man. Moors are nothing but Israelites that embraced Islam. So when they took when they brought some of us over here on that boat, they had to force feed us some of that shit, man, because we wouldn't eat it. You know, now you niggas love bologna sandwiches. Now you love fucking bacon and pork in in, in whatever form it comes in. You didn't, you didn't, uh, 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 like eating that shit at for, at first, man. You were forced to eat it. You weren't given a choice. Now you got a choice. And if you don't repent from eating that bullshit, your how about shit, y'all was shy, it's going to kill you, man. Simply, straight up like that, man. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power, and Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth so is there a people that is better than, a, than than the rest of the people on earth yes the israelites the heavenly father set us above all people that are upon the earth man and y'all gonna get with the program when the kingdom of heaven gets set up the israelite man is gonna be set back up in rulership over you heathens man you know hey and we're gonna get our women back in check too in the kingdom it ain't gonna be no fucking fussing when I say I want to deal with my other woman, you're going you gonna to be escorted out of my palace and you're going to be escorted out with some class, too. You ain't going to talk back or do none of that, man. <laughs> Y'all watching me outside with it. But yeah, man, you know, uh, brothers catch hell, they got women, bro. And I don't have one right now. And I'm, hey, I'm thankful because when you do get with a woman, you're going to have trouble in the flesh. Sometimes she just going to get on your damn nerves because that's what women do, man. Sometimes Satan going to jump on your woman to fuck with you, you know? So it's not a bad thing if you don't have a woman. Hey, I'll tell you what, you brothers that don't got women, <clears throat> if the Lord give you a, bring you a woman around or whatever, man, that woman ain't so wife, you know, hey, if she, if she, it's different than you, it's different. Like if you deal with an Israelite woman, and she knows the scriptures and she's trying to keep the scriptures. You you pretty much gotta deal with her, man. But say, man, hey, hey, hey. Most of these women, they not women, and most of them are in the spirit of a harlot. You know? So you get with these women and you deal with them, man, and if they cool, you keep see maybe she wants you to keep dealing with her. But you know, you get you some box, man, and you hasten the day, man. Don't try to wife her up, you know. Because if, if you do that, you're going to have trouble in the flesh. A lot of these women, man, they not even with that right now. Hey, most brothers at this point in time, brothers, go get them a heathen woman. You know, you ain't got to marry no heathen woman. You, you know, you're not subject to deal with her according to the law. You know, but like, hey, man, a lot of these Israelite women, man, uh, they not in that spirit of trying to get married. You know, but these women ain't going to get right during Jacob's trouble, man. Isaiah 4 and 1 going to come to pass shortly. But, you know, you hey, if she wants you to marry her, if she with that, that's cool. But like I say, man, nine times out of ten, you're not going to want to run into a woman that wants to be with you under your uh, under that authoritative uh, act of being, you know, being a man of y'all, by some y'all, child, you carrying yourself a certain way. These women run from that, man. They don't like structure. Anything that involves structure, they run from, you know. Hey, man, uh... Pretty much, man, yeah. You know, deal with these women accordingly. Hey, and the scriptures tell you, you know, if she go not as thou would have her come, roughly paraphrasing that scripture, 
Yeah, the scriptures tell you that she and she come not as thou would have her come, cut her off from thy flesh. Sometimes you gotta cut a bitch off to let her know you're not fucking playing. Cause if she disrespects you and you 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 go back over there after a couple days, she gonna know all oh, this nigga ain't really he ain't really serious. You gotta cut a bitch off for months at a time if you got to. You gotta you gotta let her know, man. Listen, man, I'm not I'm serious, man. You know. A lot of these women, man, they don't take Jake serious because just for a little bit of box, you will deal with a whole lot of bullshit. You got to let a, lot of a woman know, man, hey, your, your, hey, 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 your vagina ain't going to, it don't hold no power over me. That's how, that's the spirit you got to move in. But like I was saying earlier, you know, King Von, I'm going to do a lesson on the video when I get home, Lord willing. King Von did a uh, an interview with Adam 22. You know, if you, if you kind of, if you, Brothers probably brothers know who King Von is. He did an interview and he went into how everything he got going on pretty much, you know. He do all the shit he do for women as far as dressing up and all that. The scriptures speak about that, man. In uh first Ezra, the fourth chapter. A lot of men have become servants for women's sake. A lot of men have many men have have run out of their wits for women. You know, that ain't nothing wrong with looking good because, you know, as they would call in the world, you peacocking, you know, you showing them feathers off, you know, you want to look good to get Eve attention. That's cool. But man, Eve really, she looking for the guy that ain't looking for her. She looking for that guy that that, that don't um, bow down to her and, and, and change who he is just to get some attention from him. Women respect men that disrespect them. You know, a regular guy, man, it's a video floating around. A regular guy, they, they want to make you jump through hopes, hoops to deal with them. But this same bitch will go and pay Chris Brown a thousand dollars for a picture. Like like they said, uh, it's a guy that a guy from Jersey. It's a video floating around. You know, pretty much, man, the, the more money you, you got, uh, the less you got to come out of pocket for. You know, hey, man, uh, Chris Brown is like a superstar right now. But it, hey. In the days to come, the men of your whole body and y'all side, they're going to be finding over us like that, like literally begging us to get with them, man. Isaiah 4 and 1. You know? So, man, we ain't got to worry about women, man. We're going to get women. All we got to do is focus on the mission. The older you get in this truth, you're going to realize more and more that having a woman, man, it ain't that you don't want no woman. It's just it's like, I don't want to deal with that shit. I want some box. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. Now, you know, <laughs> Jake wants some box, man, but Jake don't want to deal with that bullshit, man. The apostles brought it out years ago, how they, you know, they did, they didn't dealt with prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just speaking on what I heard. I can, I'm just speaking on what I heard the apostles say. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, hey, but you already dealing with, uh, 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 all of these women are whores, man. Some of them are just more open about it than others, you know? Like the Lord told Hosea, man, go get get thee a wife of whoredoms, man. You know, our women are so messed up because we are the Lord's woman. And we committed spiritual adultery, uh, worshiping other gods, you know, involving ourselves in the worshiping of other deities, man. We've all went off. We've all fallen short of the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, we all worthy of death, but the Lord is merciful. But the one thing about it is, man, we got women to deal with, but uh, our women are fucked up, man. You know, most bro, a lot of brothers will not even deal with the black woman. I, me personally, if I if, if I'm just trying to get some box, man, real quick, I right, cool. But I'm not taking you serious. You know, and um, I deal with a heathen woman before I deal with one of my women, man. You know, the Jake woman got a smart ass mouth. She don't respect the Israelite man. But see, she get mad when she sees somebody else respecting the Israelite man. She get mad when she see a heathen woman walking around like she got a trophy. You know, when she get with the Israelite man. You know, but see, man, y'all don't want to get right, man. And brothers, it's, it's uh, the, the 
Whether we in the, whether you got to take it, that's not in, in the truth that's avoiding the black woman, man. She having hard time, having a hard time finding a man right now. Also, you women, man, y'all are either going to get right or get left. Because brothers ain't going to put up with that bullshit, man. You know, this ain't the fucking 1990s. You know, Jake ain't finna be out here, uh, uh, like Jada Chavez said, where's where the men from the 90s at? See, that's what these women want. They want suckers, man. They don't want real men. They want you to get out on the fucking street corner and dance and sing for them in the rain. You know? Nah, man. Jake ain't in that spirit no more. And that's the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, raising that manly spirit back up on Jake, man. You women are going to get brought low. A woman is a servant. So you can't call yourself a woman if you're not willing to serve a man. Most of these goddamn women, man, especially the younger women, they don't know how to fucking cook. They don't know how to damn uh, do nothing right, man. You know? Yeah, man. Uh, go ahead and wrap this up. All present on that boy's dude. I was by Shane Yawashai. Double honor to my elders and apostles of great meals. Don't teach me well in these scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Until the next one, I say Shalom.